Coffs Harbour and we'll be heading up to Lennox Head today. It is day three of my road trip to uni. We will be making a few stops to Ballina and I think Gra Grana? Oh. Grafton. Okay. Um, and we'll be like looking at all the different like little beaches here and there. So it's going to be an exciting day, so stay tuned. We took a scenic route to the Forest Sky Pier which is a 10 minute drive from Coffs Harbour with stunning scenery, banana plantations and amazing panoramic views along the way. The Sky Pier is free to visit and a must do to see the beautiful views over the town below. We were back on the road taking many beach detours. We found a little roadside stall that's selling fresh vegetables. We want to try some of the local bananas. Uh, not ripe yet. Okay. Ladyfinger bananas. Uh, I'll take one back. We're at the North Sapphire Beach. We're just walking there now. And then we're gonna get some breakfast, even though it's like, whoo, it's like 10 o'clock, so I guess we're getting brunch afterwards. famous for its vibrant purple flowering jacarandas, which we unfortunately did not get to see as we didn't come during the flowering season. We also checked out their very small sailing club. Yamba also has some interesting rocky beaches and surf. So we're at the surf beach in Yamba. Ooh, um, on the rocks here, it's really nice. Got some great views there. Good surf, but we didn't bring anything to surf with. Ballina, we pass the big prawn and stop to look over a bay with people learning to surf. The water looks a bit dirty.
dirty because it's river water. Um, but you can see that's where it goes out to sea. The waves are quite small, which is good for longboarding. And then there's a sandbank over here where there's some people uh, skimboarding. And then there's more surfers going out now. Our last stop for the day is Lennox Head, also known for its great surf spots and competitions which occur throughout the year. Oh no, they drove off without me. Wait for me! <laughs> accommodation now. Our accommodation for the next two nights is an Airbnb, which is a very cute and comfortable granny flat. After settling in, we headed down to Lake Ainsworth, or the Tea Tree Lake, for a swim. The water was so welcoming and soothing, a definite must visit. The next morning, we headed to Byron Bay for a day trip. Hello and good morning to a new day. It is day four of my road trip to uni. We are going to be staying in Lennox Head again tonight, but we are driving up to Byron Bay and making a few stops. We detoured to yet more beaches. Then we wandered through the markets. So we're in Byron Bay. We had a look around the town, went to the markets and the shops. Now we're going to the beach for our well-deserved swim. So the markets happen every Sunday and they were really amazing. There was food, there was like stores with little like trinkets and clothes and things like that. Lots of organic stuff. And lots of organic stuff. It was really nice to look around and it was very lively as well. And the, oh yeah, there was a live band and they were very good because Byron is known for its music. The beach we swam at had absolutely stunning views. The sky was clear today and the water a beautiful turquoise blue. The waves were perfect for body surfing and the water was refreshing after being under the hot sun. Definitely one of the most beautiful beaches we've seen so far. Yeah. The dive boat. Well, that's it for days three and four on my road trip to uni. Next time, we will be crossing the border into Queensland and get a taste of its city life. See you then.